Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Saturday the 10th of April 2021 in the news uh, across the UK um, people are paying tribute to uh, Prince Philip who died yesterday um, some sad news there and uh, in the US attempts to unionize Amazon in Alabama have failed um, you know uh, I guess modern day young people in modern day haven't really seen the benefits of unions or have been so um, the propaganda against them over the years has been so intense from capitalists that people really don't believe that they're such a great thing but of course unions are meant to protect their members against dreadful working conditions and many people do face terrible working conditions and their lives would benefit from unions of course unions themselves have occasionally shot themselves in the foot by uh, you know bad behavior in certain circumstances but really they aren't beneficial and I wish more people would understand that and try to organize and uh, group their labor into some kind of collective system anyway that's for them um, uh, I don't have a chance to do that <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get on with today's Guardian Sudoku which is listed as expert level hmm now, last week it was pretty tough if I remember rightly I think last week we had a bit of a, uh, a think on our on a bit of a had to have a bit of a think to finish the puzzle sometimes it's not that difficult so just looking at the puzzle for the first time now um, Okay, so those of you who haven't played Sudoku before but have decided to jump in at the expert level very quickly, why? But uh, very quickly, each column needs numbers 1 to 9, each row needs numbers 1 to 9 in each of their 9 squares, each segment needs numbers 1 to 9. That's all you're getting from me about the rules today, because really if you're jumping in at Sudoku uh, for the first time at expert level, you're very optimistic. So how do we find it? Well, we notice, of course, 4 is unique in this row, 4 is unique in this row, and 4 is unique in this column. So that's the only place where a 4 can be placed in this segment. Right? Made sense, didn't it? Um, okay, what else? Um... Seven here blocks that square, seven blocks that square, seven blocks this square here, right? Across this row. So this column seven is blocked, blocked, and blocked. So there's only one place to fill in seven in that segment there. Now that we do that, we've uh, given us an opportunity to place a one here because this one also blocks this row. And this one, which a moment ago could have been here or here, now only has one location left so as clearly as you're filling more numbers you generally have fewer opportunities to place numbers which is a good thing in Sudoku not a bad thing since it's mostly done uh, by a process of elimination um, okay I, oh two three Um, okay, still looking at stuff. Right, um, thought I'd seen something, um, but had not. Um, where to look next? Uh, but just if you're tuning in for the first time, I should warn you that I have not played this um, Sudoku yet. This is my first attempt, and um, uh, I'm seeing it at the same time that you are. In other words, haven't practiced it first, don't know if it contains, dif if you need difficult techniques to finish the game, and also haven't got anything in mind, a kind of plan in mind, and can actually see where to go very quickly. I'm just looking around as you are right now, hopefully, unless of course you've already finished the game. Okay, so I see a five across this row, five across this row, and a five down this column, so that's our five here. 
So I can bring this 5 up, blocking these two squares. This 5 blocks these two squares, and we don't yet have a 5 in this box. So there we go. That's the 5 there. Okay, this is um, something interesting, I think. Uh, the 9 is going to block along here, right? And so the 9 will also, this 9 also blocks down here. That leaves these two squares to be a 9, doesn't it? And in fact, this 9, actually I've just noticed, I was going to do something else, but this 9 blocks this square here. So we can, in fact, um, place 9 here. It has to be here because we need a 9 in this row, don't we? This 9 blocks this, this 9 blocks this, this 9 blocks here. So actually we need, we've need placed a 9. I was going to look at something else, but um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll still look at that. So this 9 and the 1 here, 9 and 1, we don't have 9 or 1 in this box yet. 9 or 1 comes here, 9 and 1 comes here. So that means no 1 or 9, no 1 or 9, so 1 or 9 has to appear in these two squares here. The 9 blocks here, so we can fit the 9 here and the 1 here. We could have done that even if I didn't see this down here. Uh, I knew that the 9 was going to appear in one of these two squares, and so um, that was my original plan to point that out to you, but actually it was even easier than that. Uh, these numbers now are 2 and 3, so this 3 will block this square here in this segment, right? The eventual 3, we don't know which square it's going in yet, but it's got to go there, one of those. This 3 will block up these two squares, and this 3 will block here. So we are blocked, blocked, and blocked. We'll unblock ourselves there by sticking in a 3. am I looking for? Um, okay, I'm adding a voiceover at this point because in the original recording something crazy happened with the microphone. Uh, I've no idea what, but it was so highly distorted that it was actually unlistenable. So um, I shall try to add commentary to whatever I was thinking at the time, although it's not that easy. I noticed that there was a 7 blocking these two squares in that column, and uh, so the 7 would have to appear in one of those three squares. In fact, not the lower square because there are only two available, so it's one of those two, which would eventually block those three in the middle block. And so 7 is not allowed in those three. 7 blocks along the top row there as well, so there's only one space where 7 can go. I have no idea what I was chatting about before, but I'm sure it wasn't particularly interesting. My next idea was... <laughs> hmm. I noticed sevens... Oh. I have no idea what I was looking at there. Sevens? Sevens blocking. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, I noticed sevens were blocked in the central um, segment there. Sevens block all the way down, and there's a seven in the bottom row blocking along. So seven, there's only one place to fit a seven. And if you look at this uh, row now, you see there are two numbers missing, uh, an eight and a four. Well, we have an eight already blocking in this segment here. Uh, so the 8 must appear in that end, and also there's a 4 
we could have seen blocking that square so 4 appears at the other end. What came next I have no idea. But I was certainly taking my time, whatever I was doing. Four blocking, okay, just one space for four. So fours in two columns blocking. Four blocking along that row, four in that column there, so there's only one space to fit a four. Uh, along the two missing numbers along there are what three and six but that doesn't really help us doesn't get us anywhere okay just examining the numbers along there and found that it didn't really get me anywhere and uh, uh, I'm gonna give you back I think the distortion in sound ended in the next few seconds so we shall move back to the original <laughs> audio uh just about um now okay back to the previous me seven down here now blocking these two squares seven blocking this square right from over here and so just one place where we can fit the seven It's very noisy. We are preparing for a uh, new year. Um, today is Saturday, and here in Thailand next week uh, is Thai New Year, which ordinarily is jubilant celebration, and this year is rather more muted since we're not allowed to drench each other with water. Uh, but it is a holiday. It's been officially declared as a holiday the entire week. And so people are leaving town to leaving the capital here in Bangkok and going to, off to their hometowns as is traditional and the traffic has begun. Uh, more people are likely to die in the next week from traffic accidents than COVID. Uh, in fact, more people are likely to die in the next week from traffic accidents than have died from go COVID in a year. That's how terrible it is. Um, anyway. seeing lots of pairs um, but um, that's not helping us just yet because I'm trying to get uh, as many candidate as many uh, numbers fixed as I can before writing in any candidates um, I'm not doesn't seem I don't seem to be concentrating too well at the moment I should be I've had a pancake with homemade jam um, which was very sweet for breakfast and also I'm out of fresh coffee so I had an instant coffee which comes with about 10 sugars in it and so I'm on a sugar high so I should actually be quite energetic for this but concentration doesn't seem to be uh, as high as normal so I'm probably going to just start writing in candidates because I <laughs> I'm not I'm not seeing everything that I should be seeing for sure Let's get on with it then. All right, let's delay no further. So missing numbers here are uh, three and six. Uh, missing numbers uh, here are um, two and three. Uh, missing number what is the, uh, threes are uh, could be anywhere one two three well six six is a pair along here I'm just going to fill in the pairs for the moment um, that is a pair that's two or three but I'm not going to fill it in because it's not a pair within this segment it is a pair in this row it can only be two or three okay but um, I'm gonna 
just leave it for the moment and come back to it later. Over here, 6 is going to be in those two squares because blocked here and blocked here. Uh, 5 is blocking here and blocking here and blocking here, so that's in the same location. Now, um, technically we can call this a naked pair. If somehow that offends you, if you don't like the word naked, you could call it a matching pair. I tend to, I use my own terminology since I taught myself to play Sudoku many years ago. I call it a kind of unique pair. I don't think anybody else would use such a term, but that's why I sometimes uh, refer to it as. Um, now that's a useful thing because it means that no other squares can, uh, these two squares can't contain any other numbers except 6 or 5, and also 6 or 5 can't appear anywhere else. And so um, that includes in this box, and that also includes in this column here. Uh, there can be no other six or fives. Um, so um, it's not going to do a great deal for us just yet, but uh, I'm sure it will help later on. Uh, so now then, let's see what else. Four. There's a f This four blocks this square. Remember, we don't care about this one and this one now. Four blocks this square four blocks here and this four blocks here so we have a pair of fours in those locations there uh, we have nine right up this central column so two places where a nine can go and uh, I'm going to look to other areas I think they'll be more fruitful actually. Um, four here, four here, and four here. Let's just put in a pair of fours up there. Five in this column, five in this row, five in this row means we can fit five as a pair of candidates there. Hmm. Actually, it might turn out to be more difficult than I at first thought. Um, six across here, six across here, candidates here, six. Six across here, remember. The six has to be here or here. That can't be a six. So sixes appear there. Is someone knocking at my door? Three is also blocking along here now. That can't be three. So that's three there and we've found ourselves a number clearly that has to be two should have done this before of course but such is life sometimes forget we also found a number here right one two three four five six seven it's an eight okay that will give us an eight here right eight blocking here eight blocking here so that's an eight there and when we do that we've got another what I call exclusive pair or matching pair or naked pair up here, four and eight. So um, that box in the top there is going to um, help us out, I think. Mm. Um, what's missing here? One and two right missing here now the two eventually will come here uh, i mean sorry we'll block here two will come either here or here so we'll block that square and that will be two and that will be one now we've got one blocking here one blocking here so that's our one this nine blocks this square so that's our nine and two is our last number along this row here the last remaining number in this column is two we're overwriting a nine that's our nine there's only one number left to get here one, two, it's a three, because we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is a three. OK. 
Okay, it's moving along quite nicely now. The two now blocks uh, this here, doesn't it? And this two blocks this square here, and we don't yet have a two, so that's our two there. That now has to be six. This is our last number, which is a three. Okay, three, two or three, that's our three. That's our two, three down here, that's a six, that's a three. This is why writing pairs is so beneficial, saves so much time when it comes to actually knocking down the dominoes as I kind of think of it, you know. Um, Sudoku, especially when you get to the harder level ones, if you've got lots of pairs written in, you can see immediately how to remove numbers without even thinking about it. Um, okay, now we have uh, three blocking here, three blocking here, and three blocking along here. So that's the only space where a three can go. And now we've done that, we've got three here and a six there, right? And now we've got a six here, and we can remove candidate six there. And there's only one number left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. Now that we've got a nine here, we can bring it up in this column to block, and the nine blocking here, and this nine blocking here gives us a nine there. Um, okay. What's missing here? One and one and eight, I believe. One and eight sounds like the old predecimalized money. One and eight. Um, eight blocks here, so eight goes here. One goes here. And if you've no idea what I'm talking about with predecimalized money, don't worry. I'm just an old guy. Missing number in this row is two. Um, Okay, missing number along here is 5 and 1, but we have a blocking one here. So that's our 1 there, and that's our 5 there. Now that we know that um, uh, 4 and 8 are the missing numbers in this row, but we have an intersecting 8 here. So that's got to be 8, so that's got to be 4, and that's got to be 4, and that can be scrubbed. Uh, almost there, just a couple more to get. Um, numbers 2 is missing, so 2 blocks along here, 2 blocks along here, 2 goes there, 1 number left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's a 6, so 6 is there, clearly that's now a 5, that's a 6, um, and the 5 blocks here, so that's our 5 and that's our 8, definitely not an expert level puzzle. Is it even a medium level puzzle? Hmm. I've no idea why that one is labelled as expert. Nothing expert needed about that whatsoever, really. It's almost an easy level puzzle, but maybe we'll promote it to medium just to give them the slight benefit of the doubt. But uh, I, I don't really think it qualifies as anything. It's certainly nothing greater than a medium level puzzle. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and got through it very quickly too, and your weekend has kicked off in a good fashion, um, enjoy yourselves whatever you plan to do, unless you're on lockdown, well, enjoy yourself at home. Please subscribe to this channel, subscribe to other Sudoku channels, learn uh, whatever you can about Sudoku, and uh, play the game, practice the game, and pass it on to your friends to play the game too, because, um, you know, it promotes logic, and uh, that's a great thing in a world which is at times extremely irrational. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.